right, so we are here today at Restorative Wellness. I'm here with Nikki Rodriguez. I'm gonna introduce you. Um, uh, she owns this space with her hu husband, John. Mm -hmm. And um, the reason that I wanted to feature this business is um, it's a business that I frequent here in Vero Beach. I really like what they're doing here. I really like that they are treating mind and body all in the same space kind of like um, a whole person approach. And um, let's do like a quick intro here. So Nikki, I met you, um, I don't know if you remember this. I but remember. You remember? <laughs> I do. Um, the first time I met you was at a, a women-owned business networking event yep. here in Vero Beach. It was at, actually at Keone. Mm -hmm. And um, I, there was a couple ladies there who I knew and a couple, bunch of who I didn't, and I didn't know you previously. and. I do remember I just really liked your energy. We had like a mutual friend, actually, a <laughs> massage therapist. Yes. Uh-huh. Yes. And um, I liked you. So uh, how I really got to know Nikki is I started coming and doing your therapy here with you, one-on-one. -on -one. And then as you've grown into this space and kind of started making it what you want it to be. I've mm -hmm. um, just kind of been a fan and watching you <laughs> along the way and I really like what you're doing. Yeah, so that's why you. I wanted to feature you as our local business feature. And I'd really love to turn it over to you to talk a little bit more about what are you doing in this space. Okay. So in this space, we offer counseling. As you said, I am a certified EMDR therapist. EMDR stands for eye movement desensitization reprocessing. A lot of people associate it with trauma. However, it is appropriate for everybody because it targets negative beliefs. We all have them. So that is my jam. That's what I'm pretty much doing on the regular. We also offer massage therapy. That is done by John. So John is a licensed massage therapist and a personal trainer who specializes in corrective movement, balance, stability, and mobility. His clients are coming to him for functional fitness and improved quality of life. Okay. And then we also, which we're standing in, is the yoga studio. This is my favorite part of the space. I love this part. <laughs> I know, it's my yeah. fave. Um, we have multiple weekly classes going on and we hold a lot of specialized events in here. We actually have a sound bath coming up. Okay. And in October, I'm hosting my first retreat here. Okay. So that's going on as that's well. That's really cool. Yes, I'm, I'm excited. excited about that. Yes. Okay. So right. yeah, so the counseling, the massage, the personal training, and yoga. Okay, so you and your husband, you're like a dynamic duo, right? Sure. I, I like to think of it, I mean, yoga obviously is very physical, but there's mm -hmm. definitely like um, a spiritual and mental yes. component to you. So yes. I like to think of you as like the mind and him as like the body, but <laughs> like all Pretty much. That's, what I, that's how I compartmentalize it anyway. That's okay. Um, so, I've been in this space before you had the space, mm -hmm. before you came in and started making it your own. I've been here for like little um, mommy and me classes and things, whatever it was before. Um, I haven't attended yoga yet. It's on my to-do list. I'm very mm -hmm. excited about it. But the space is very um, serene. It's yeah. got a nice flow and a nice vibe. Mm -hmm. I do like that a lot. I also really like the fact that you could come do yoga and then you could, if you need therapy, you could also do therapy or you could get your massage here mm -hmm. with a familiar face, somebody you know. You have like more options than just the one thing. Yes, and that's actually today we have a client who's coming to me for counseling and then she's gonna go work out with John after. Fantastic. So it's like yeah. one-stop shop. She yeah. gets to get it done. She doesn't have to go all over town. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, it, and a lot of times too, you know, when you're looking for um, different professionals or different services, there's definitely search components yes. to it. And like, there's a kind of a weeding out of this person fits or this person doesn't fit. And I kind of like that you know, you know your husband so well, your husband knows what you do. Mm -hmm. You guys can like mesh the two, right? Yes. If you want to dip into multiple multiple services. Yeah. So I do like that a lot. Yeah, and obviously if I know somebody would be a good fit, I can recommend it. Yeah. So no, that's it's. I think that's helpful because that's part of what we want when people come in here is to feel welcome and to feel, and to feel safe. And like, I know you, I know your story, I know your kids. Like yeah. we want you to feel like this is a family here. Yeah. Cool, that's what I get. That's yeah, nice. thank you. So can you tell me a little bit, just for the people who are gonna watch this video, about like why would they wanna come to this space mm -hmm. and practice versus somewhere else? So especially when we're talking about yoga, I would say we are very encouraging and welcoming of beginners. Um, it can be intimidating to go to a yoga class, right? Totally. If you don't know the name of the poses, if you're scared of what you might look like. 
And for me, the focus is on educating and making people feel comfortable. I teach yoga, I am not perfect. Yeah. So I try to be very authentic with that. So people know like, if you if you don't know, it's okay. Like just come and try, just the, that's, the, that's the battle is getting in here. And I think a lot of yoga studios would say that as well. Um, but also the spiritual component's huge for me. You know, that's not just a physical practice. That's a really great way to connect with yourself. And I feel that it builds on what I'm doing in the, in the therapy office and even helps kind of integrate some of the work John does through movement. So cool, cool, totally, yep. That makes perfect sense mm -hmm. to me. No, and, and I, I really, that is really what I think of when I think of this space. And you named it restorative wellness. Mm -hmm. And I think it's aptly named because it is really just about overall wellness. Yes. One of the things you mentioned to me at one point in time was like, if you're going to come see John for personal training, it's he's really not the weight loss guy, right? He's yeah. more of like your functional, if you mm -hmm. have a prior injury, he's yep. really gonna cater to your needs. Yes. Um, and so it's the wellness component I think is really important. Whereas you could go to walk into any gym and pick up a piece of equipment and or go on the treadmill or whatever, but here you're gonna get more of a personalized approach and an approach that's based around like what, like, Obviously, I just had a surgery, mm -hmm. and so I'm not gonna be able to go in and just lift weights or no. do something like yeah. that. To see somebody like John, he's really gonna be able to keep me active, yes. but keep me safe. Exactly, that's yeah. huge. And you know, I think it's kind of important to mention that like we practice what we preach, right? So the reason John got into fitness was because of an accident in 2012, and that kind of helped him overcome a brain injury and PTSD and stuff. So that's, he's coming from, he's been in the shoes. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yes. it, it's it, it's the same with me. Like I share regularly, I go to therapy. I feel like a good therapist has a therapist. Yeah. So like you have to be able to walk the walk and talk the talk. I think that's important, right? Mm -hmm. And it shows, like yeah. it, it comes across that like you live it exactly. and you teach it yeah. the whole nine yards. All right, so I was always really interested. I don't even know the story um, myself because I didn't start uh, working with you until you were in this space. Mm -hmm. But what did the evolution look mm -hmm. like for you from your, being a therapist before to coming in, not even specifically to this space, but just opening up this kind of like wellness space mm -hmm. and offering all the things that you offer now? Well, how did that progress? So actually we formed our business, our LLC in 2015. Okay. And our plan was to work together. So that was the intention. Um, you know, life happens. And I opened my practice in 2016. So I have been in private practice in Vero since then. And then in 2022, which was last year, this space became available. And I had to jump on it because a long time ago, walking the streets in Boston, I saw a social worker's office and a yoga studio. And I was like, oh, that's so cool. That's such a great idea. So when this became available, I'm like, but like I need this. Like it's just, and it flowed. Again, when things are supposed to work out, they do. Yes, I believe And that. with this space, obviously John could finally come on because that was always the initial intention. It just mm -hmm. happened in the right time. Cool. Yeah. So it's like, it was like a little baby seed Please. that was just waiting to be watered. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. So 2015 to 2022, right? So seven years it yeah. took to, to sprout. I love that. I love that. It, I, I mean, I don't know if you love it, but I love that it wasn't like instantaneous, that it kind of, this idea that sat with you and just grew into something that yeah. it is today. And well, and things happened in between then, right? Like we had children, I did my EMDR cert, John did his massage school. So like all of those pieces had to happen before we could come in here. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Well, I love it. That's so fantastic. And obviously, again, I'm here with you today, but I, I do frequent this space and I do love this space and I love what you're doing for the Thank community you. and what you're offering. I think it's very positive. Yep. I like the wellness approach because a lot of times people think they've got to go a thousand miles per hour at things and mm -hmm. you really don't. Yeah. Um, I, I'm a very busy business woman myself yep. and I've got kids and I'm juggling things all the time. And sometimes I don't want to go a thousand miles per mm -hmm. hour when I have time for me, but I yeah. also want to be doing something that's promoting my own well-being. Or, yes. Um, so I like that this space is like self-paced yep. in some way, right? Absolutely, yes. Um, you can go as fast or as slow as you want, but it really does feel um, calming and serene and therapeutic. Yeah, it's about you. Like we're here to meet you where you're at. Um, both John and I come from the same premise that like we don't know better than you do. You know yourself, you 
you know, put your head down on your pillow at night. And we're just here for support. So we're always gonna give you feedback and encouragement, but again, it's your journey and we're just here to help. I love it. Yeah. And I love this location. So you're right off of Main Street in Vero mm -hmm. Beach. Um, for those people who are looking to find out more about the space, I'm yep. going to let you tell the address and how to get in touch. Sure. Um, but they are right on Main Street, just north of um, the Pocahontas Park. Mm -hmm. I'm staring at it right now. Yeah. <laughs> but just north of Pocahontas Park. So it's a really convenient location mm -hmm. central here in Vero Beach. Um, Again, I like this entire area, so it's, I really love that you found a spot here. It's nice that you're not like, you know, way out in the boonies somewhere. You know, yeah. you're very easy to locate and easy to get to. Um, and then tell us a little bit more about uh, where you, specifically where you located and how can people find information? How can they get in touch if mm -hmm. they want more information about classes or upcoming All of the things. things? So we're located in downtown Vero at 2239 14th Avenue. Our website is www.rwvero.com. And you can follow us on social media, on Facebook, Instagram. We are posting frequently, sharing the events, the classes. And then I'm also sending out a bi-weekly newsletter to let people know about different things that are going on, you know, adding some content with things from therapy, things from the gym, just to, you know, enhance people's lives a little bit more with that information. And then starting next month in October, we will be adding some donation yoga classes to benefit a local charity, which will be updated on our social media soon as well. Fantastic. I look forward to that. Thank you. Nikki, thank you for letting us come into your space and feature you for our local business feature. I really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. um, again, this is a business that I personally like to support here. So thank you again. Um, and you have all of the information if you are watching and you want to get in touch. Um, if you want to come mm -hmm. and check out some of the things that they're offering here at this space, you know how to get in touch.